Hey guys, it's Karen Merrill. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make ClickBank sales with no website. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about affiliate marketing, how to make money online, how to make money from home. I do a lot of product reviews as well, just to let you make an informed buying decision as far as if it's a good product or not. Also, I'm going to be branching a little bit into e-commerce on this channel this year and also showing you how to build a YouTube channel from scratch and make affiliate sales from it. If those are topics that you want to learn more about. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos, which right now is on a daily basis. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into how to make ClickBank sales with no website. First thing, of course, is you're going to go to ClickBank. It's free to register and you're going to pick a product. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this because I just did a video not too long ago about this topic. So I'm going to post that in the description below the video, but you want something over 50, 50 gravity on the first page of the search. When you look at the popularity, good affiliate tools and the sales page is good. And I would also, buy the product and make sure that the product is good before you promote it because especially if you're going to use paid traffic if it's not a good product you're going to get a lot of refunds so let me just show you here if we go to e-business e and e-marketing which is my niche make money online and you just search you can see right here popularity so if you just search that these are the most popular ones so you can see right here and you're looking at the gravity right here. Let's see, this this gravity is 71, so that meets the criteria. And then you'll look at the affiliate page, which is going to be like right here. So you see the affiliate page and make sure they have good tools that you can use, good um, email follow-ups. And then again, the sales page is good. It's not like you want to make sure they don't have what looks like to be paid actors and just really unrealistic income claims. Those are things that I avoid because you look at it and you think, would you buy that? You know, you just, just want to sell something just to sell it. You want it to actually provide value to people. Okay. Then the second thing is you're going to set up a landing page because of course you don't want to drive traffic, whether it be free or paid to just the sales, your affiliate link, the sales page, you want to set up a landing page so that you can, collect email addresses and be able to market to them, not just the first time, but over time, because most people don't buy on the first exposure. And then you can also market other products to them as well down the road. And then the third thing is you want to create a follow-up series in your autoresponder and connect it to your landing page. Both of these topics I have done videos on and I'm going to post them in the description below here as well. So you can go through those step-by-step -step tutorials. It's easy to do. If I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> okay, and then the the fourth thing is to drive targeted traffic. You can do that through YouTube. I'm going to explain that here in just a minute, give you an example. And then Quora marketing is a great way to get targeted traffic. I did a video on that. I'm going to leave that in the description below as well. You can check that out. And then paid traffic is going to be a couple of like, ideas or solo ads. I like solo ads and I have a, a two part series training on solo ads, how to pick good vendors and what questions to ask because you don't want to send your offer out to a solo ad provider that just sent that same offer out to their list within the last day or so. So there's a lot of questions that you want to ask to make sure you do it right. Make sure you maximize the amount of money that you make from the solo ad. So I'm going to leave those videos below in the description as well. Paid YouTube ads that I would recommend going to ClickBank University. And that's one of their top, they, they teach uh, Facebook marketing and paid YouTube ads. And those are the two things that they found have provided the most results. Actually, I'm sorry. It was, um, YouTube, not YouTube, Instagram shout outs and paid YouTube ads, but ClickBank University is a great course through ClickBank that you can learn um, paid YouTube ads. So I wanted to give you an example of a campaign that I'm running actually right now. 
And I do, like I said, a lot of product reviews for ClickBank just to see which ones are good and which ones are not. And I find majority of them are not. But when I find one that I think is good, I want to go ahead and promote it myself. So just recently I did a profit injector review and it, it's about how to uh, find YouTube videos that have a lot of views and are not monetized and do like a JV partnership with them. So it's a great way to uh, promote your ClickBank products, but also it teaches you how to build a YouTube channel. So I really like the product. So I decided to go ahead and get a solo ad and I bought um, 200 clicks for $70. It's not finished yet. I think there were, we were at like 173 clicks, but she always over delivers and it's going to give me like 210 clicks. But so far I'm not super happy. I'm, you know, you're not always going to get sales on the front end because it may be, like I said, more than one exposure before someone buys. But so far I have 35 leads, no sales yet. Um, there's a lot of people clicking on the sales page and the, so, uh, anyway, it's seven, 17% opt-in, which I'm not thrilled about. I'd rather have like 30 to 40%, but, um, the message here is that don't worry if you don't get sales right off the bat because you're building an email list and down the road you can promote other offers to this email list so it's not just this profit injector so that's not to say that it's not going to be profitable for you some people are just not ready to buy on the first exposure even though this is a very um, small price for this profit injector i think it was a really good product so this will be to be determined and also you kind of have to try out different vendors because maybe this this particular product isn't a good match for their list whereas it might be for somebody else's list so you want to start out small maybe more like 100 clicks and just try it out and see with this person's list is this going to convert well as opposed to this other person's list and udemy is a good place to go uh, to find solo ad vendors. I'm going to leave a link below here, but this I have used Udemy to have good success here. So that's just, oh, I wanted to show you also the, okay, before I give you a better idea than solo ads for this particular product, I wanted to show you the landing page that I used. So 17% conversion, maybe I could change this up a little bit. Uh, I thought it was good, but again, it's all about testing. Learn how to start earning $100 to $300 a day legally stealing YouTube videos. So you might even change like the the amount here to three to $500 a day, because maybe that would get people interested more, you know, can test this out. And then uh, this particular product here, it actually is on the first page here, Profit Injector, it's a brand new product. And the Gravity already, it just came out as 56, and the average sale is good, it's 45. But they have a really great affiliate page where they have email follow-ups, which I thought were really good. So let's see, this is a follow-up series with that particular product. Uh, like the headlines, all of the headlines were really good and the and the sales copy was really good and all these follow-up messages, they have eight of them. So you can see the open rates here, 17, 13, this one didn't open as well, 5% because I don't probably even know what proper injector is. Um, I like this one that actually didn't get as good an open rate as easiest way to make money online in 2019, that got 100% open. Great. So that's the follow-up series for this particular product injector. So to be determined on the, the outcome of that. But I was going to say a better idea. If you guys are low on funds, you know, you want to do things for free. I would say take that same product or whatever product you want to, to promote and create results with the product itself. Because you'll find people are doing product reviews on it, which you can do. You can do a walkthrough and a product review and then uh, direct them to, at the end of your video, say if you want to learn more about this, go ahead and click the first link in the description below the video and that'll have the link to your lead capture page. But I would say, even better than that, 
is if you take the profit injector and you do what they say in the product, which is go out and find YouTube videos that do not have anything in their description as far as a way to monetize and reach out to those people, which they show you exactly how to do that, what to say, what to write in the product and get results with that. So you JV partnership, former JV partnership with them, you get 50, 50, and then you, you do a YouTube video on how you got results with this particular product. And I'm telling you that will sell because people know that it works. Okay. So, um, but you want to provide videos about something of value to help that person solve a problem. And then of course you have a link in the description and a call to action to your lead capture page. So an idea that I had for you guys was like, this is a great keyword. It's kind of competitive, but you could form a YouTube channel just around, um, uh, how to make money on YouTube without making videos. So if you type that in here and then you leave us like, just click the mouse here, you'll see all the related keywords and you can see, I have a, a Google Chrome extension. No, no, this is called keywords everywhere. This, this, uh, Google, Google extension. And you can see that it's 170 searches a month this particular keyword, so that's not bad, but you can see the related keywords are step-by-step, -step, at all, videos, uh, without making videos, 2019. So there's, there's a few good keywords here, and then you could do videos around those after you get results and show people how the product actually does work, because it's kind of rare that you see that. I mean, most people are just promoting the product because they want to make a sale through ClickBank, but of course it's better to, to actually use a product, get results. And then I would say you get a lot more sales and people will like you and trust you. And then you're getting them on your email list. So it's just this great uh, idea for you guys of how you can do that. So I'm um, again, I'm going to leave, the links to all the videos that you need as far as tutorials on how to make this happen. So I hope you guys found value in how to make ClickBank sales with no website. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear your comments below. And also, again, if you want to learn more about these topics, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon. And if you want to learn my number one recommendation for making money online, something that's working very well, you can click the first link in the description below the video and you can check that out if you'd like. With that being said, this is Karen Merrill signing off and I'll see you guys in the next video.